Grade 7 math, number 4.2b. I'm going to continue talking about proportions and rates. So, how to write an equation for proportions. If you remember from the last video, a proportion is an equation that states two ratios are equal, that they're equivalent. So, we had this example. The amount of money you have compared to the number of quarters you have are in proportion to each other. If I have one quarter, I'll have 25 cents. If I have two quarters, I'll have 50 cents. Three quarters, I'll have 75, and four, I'll have a dollar. It goes up by 25 cents as these go up by one number. The amount of money is proportional to the number of quarters. They have a proportional relationship. There's a constant rate of change as we add a quarter. We have 25 cents more. So the constant of proportionality, k, is the amount that stays the same, the constant, the 25 cents. We use this formula. It's an equation. k is equal to y over x. k is equal to y divided by x. So to show the value of k, the y over x is 25 cents over 1, and it's also 75 cents over 3, or a dollar over 4, isn't it? And that'll tell us the value of k. So, it can also be written as a ratio of 25 to 1, which is equal to 75 to 3. 25 is to 1 as 75 is to 3. They're in proportion with each other. See? All right. So, to write an equation for proportions, we need to assign a value to each variable of the k equals y over x. So let's say we have two pounds of jelly beans and it costs $21.20, and five pounds cost $53. It says to show that the relationship between the number of pounds of jelly beans and the cost is a proportional relationship. So this is very important. I'm, I need you to do this. You need to make a little table that relates the cost of the pounds. It's going to make your life very easy, okay? So just make this little table, and you put the number of pounds on the bottom and the cost on the top, okay? So whatever the number that is changing constantly one by one or two by two or three by three, put that at the bottom as the denominator. And then whatever uh, is the larger number, put that as the top. In this case, it's the cost, okay? So the cost of two pounds is $21.20 over the number of pounds. And if you write it this way, you're going to end up making your fractions. You're going to end up making your ratios, your proportions. All right? So we don't know what the cost of 1 is, so I left it blank. I do know the cost of 2 is 2120, and I know that the cost of 5 is 53. So I left those blank. But I do know these. These are given, aren't they? And I can use these to help us fill in the blanks on the table, couldn't I? So we're going to use this formula, k equals y divided by x. So that means in order to find this rate of change for each pound, we need to divide the 2120 by 2 or the 53 by 5. See? It's the cost over the number of pounds. The cost over the number of pounds. See? And 2120 over 2 should equal 53 over 5 if there's a constant rate of change, okay? So we do the 21 over 2 and we find out that it's $10.60. Then we divide 53 by 5 and find out that it's $10.60. So guess what? The rates are all $10.60 per pound and they're constant. So the relationship is proportional. The constant rate of change is $10.60 per pound. So that means I could write 1060 in here, and I could multiply 1060 times 3 and put that amount there, and 1060 times 4 and put that amount there. See? I'll be able to complete my table. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to use x to represent the number of pounds of jelly beans. Okay? That's the bottom number. y is going to represent the cost in dollars. That's going to be the numerator. Okay? And then the k is the thing we're looking for. That's the constant rate of change in between the pounds and the cost. It's the constant of proportionality. So our equation is going to be written as this. y is going to equal whatever $10.60 times x is. So whatever number represents x multiplied by this constant of proportionality, $10.60, is going to tell us the value of y. 
So here's our new table. We know $21.20 divided by 2 is 1060, so we can write that in as 1, right? So if we wanted 1 pound of jelly beans, it would be that. So that's going to be K, $10.60. Whatever K is multiplied by the number of pounds is going to give us the cost. So K, $10.60 multiplied by 1, is the cost of 1 pound. K multiplied by 2 is the cost of 2 pounds. It's the cost divided by 2 pounds. And K multiplied by 3 gives us the cost of 3 pounds, or the cost divided by 3 gives us K. See how they all are interchangeable? And if we multiply the 1060, the K, by 4, it gives us the cost of 4 pounds. And this cost of 4 pounds divided by 4 gives us the K back again. See how it's all interchangeable? All right, so that is how you write an equation for proportions. We end up with Y is equal to $10.60 times X. And it's a constant rate of change. See? I hope this was helpful. I hope you now understand how to write an equation for proportion. And don't forget that I'm on patreon.com. Keep your chin up. We're going to get through this. We're already into chapter four of seventh grade, so we're getting pretty far, okay? See you next video. Bye.